This video is made possible by PowerUp. Turn your paper airplane into a smartphone flying machine. And use promo code FF10 to get 10% off your order at PowerUpToys.com. Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle, and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. And in this video, I am teaching you how to fold Spartan, which as you saw in the flight test, is an excellent medium to long range paper airplane. And you can see here, it has these thick layers on the front that will really help it to maintain its forward momentum and all the layers lock together very cleanly on the bottom as well. And then in addition to that, it just has a pretty large wing area which helps it have pretty good glide in addition to that fast flight that's provided by this forward weight of these thick layers. Now, as with so many of my YouTube planes, I have designed a template for this one so you can fold a plane that looks like this rather than just a plain sheet of paper. And all you need to do that is to support me on uh, patreon.com slash foldable flight and I'll leave a link in the description. If you are interested in folding a plane that looks like this, then go ahead and head over there where you can get your template. Now without any further ado, let's start folding this sucker. All you will need is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper and with that we'll begin by folding the right edge to the left edge. And once we've done that, we can open that back up. And now we'll fold the top edge to the bottom edge. And once again, we will unfold. The next step is to fold this right edge in to our center crease, but I'm actually only going to crease on the top half of the paper. So you can see exactly how I do that. So again, I'm just creasing from this line up that way. And then I'll unfold and let my paper look like this. Next, I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, folding this edge here to this crease. And again, just creasing that top half of the paper. So your paper should look like this. Now I'm going to take this top edge here and fold it, and I want to land this edge on this crease here. And I want the crease I make to go right through where this crease here intersects that top edge. And I'll open that up and I'll do the same thing on the other side. I want to fold this portion of the top edge to land on this crease. And I will open it up once more. Now I'll go ahead and flip the paper over and I want to fold the top edge down to create a crease that goes right through this intersection of the diagonal lines. So as I pull down, I just look for where these diagonal lines are going to intersect at the center point, and I just kind of tack that down. I make sure that my center crease on this layer is lining up with the center crease there, and I'll sweep out. Like so. We can open that back up, and now we're going to flip the paper back over and poke that point right there so our edges come up and we can pull in on both sides and flatten the model like so. And your plane should now look like this. The next step is just to fold this 
up like so and land this edge here on this edge right there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And now I will unfold both of those and I want to do what is called an inside reverse fold. So I'm going to kind of open this flap up and just push in and I'm not making any new creases. I'm just pushing in, folding in on that crease and then popping this section back out. So you should end up with a tab kind of like that. So you'll see, I'm just kind of push in, push out, and it should look just like this. Now I'll go ahead and I want to fold this top triangular section to the other side. So I'm going to flip it over. And as I do fold that section, I want to kind of just release these uh, triangles to let them escape unfolded. And I pull this point down, make sure it lands on the center crease and I crease right across there. Okay, and then next I want to fold this edge here to land on that edge there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. So it should look like this. And now we're gonna kind of do the same thing here where we are pushing in this whole section and closing back up. So I'll do that on the other side again. I'm opening this up, pushing in on this diagonal crease and closing it back up like so. And now I can flip my plane back over. Next, I just want to fold in like so, and I'm going to land this crease on the center line. Basically, I'm making a crease that goes from this point diagonally at a 45 degree angle along this edge down. So you can see I'm just pulling this whole thing like so. This little tab will cross the center. And that's what it should look like. And we wanna just do the same thing on the other side, pulling this in like so. and making our crease. Now you can see we have these two overlapping sections here and they are going to overlap. And what's going to happen is if I lay this left one down, I have this triangular tab that can fit perfectly into this triangular pocket. So I, as I close this one, I want to kind of use one finger to help guide that into the opposite pocket. And that is what is going to lock everything together. So your plane should now look like this and we can fold it in half using just our existing center crease. And now all we have left to do is fold wings. So in order to fold the wing, I wanna start just a little bit above the nose of the plane and I'm going to fold a wing crease that goes diagonally towards up towards the back let me go ahead and fold the wing and then I'll explain to you exactly how I determine where this crease goes. Okay, so here is the wing I folded. And what I did was, again, I'm starting just above the nose and I'm folding this and I want to land this edge here on that corner. So as I fold it, I kind of swivel this and line up. You see this little triangle right where that corner is until I get that perfectly in alignment. So this edge lands on that corner and that is how you determine the size of your wing. And again, anything even close to that, you're gonna have a fine plane. That's just how I determine exactly where I wanna place the wing. A wide variety is going to work here. And we can flip it over and fold this other side to match. And there you go. This is a finished Spartan. And you can see this is really just a cool uh, 
kind of a, a hybrid between a dart and a glider. It actually has a pretty good glide ratio despite having these really thick forward layers. And the one thing you'll want to know about this plane is obviously there's some asymmetry here. And that means there's a good chance that your plane is going to spiral slightly in one direction. And what you'll want to do is compensate for that by bending the back edges of your paper. And I'm going to explain exactly how that works here in, in a second. So basically, if your uh, plane spirals counterclockwise like this, you're going to want to give it a little right rudder by bending that back edge like that, and a little bit uh, on the aileron here. So that this is going to, as this wing wants to go up, this will deflect, this bump here, will deflect that wing down a little bit. And as it wants to turn and nose this way because of the spiral, this rudder is going to compensate for that as well. If it's spinning in the opposite direction, you'll do the exact opposite. You'll bend this right here and this right there. So with that, you should be able to have a very high performing paper airplane in Spartan. And while we're talking about ways to improve your paper airplane experience, that's where power up comes in. Turn your paper airplane that flies into something that really flies. Power up converts your paper airplane into a smartphone flying machine. Just download the app, attach the module, and take to the skies. All of the modules are quick to charge, easy to use, and are virtually crash proof. PowerUp invites you to make many planes in many shapes because every plane brings with it new tricks and with them new gasps of excitement. Follow the link in the description and use the promo code FF10 to get 10% off your order at PowerUpToys.com.